okay guys uh now i did um arc warden and then brood mother uh this is one of those again uh play a mid uh it is the hero that you absolutely play and abuse and get an easy and fast win if they ignore you if nobody comes mid ganking you if they i uh, just don't know how to deal with uh meepo if they didn't pick enough aoe's uh spells heroes with aoe spells uh meepo just runs around free killing everybody uh it can be a huge huge problem uh mostly because of the early illusion that you well it's not even it's not illusion it's like an actual lasting clone to get early uh you can send them to farm anywhere on the map uh right later on you get you get a couple of more you gank with them you farm with them you push with them uh hero can snowball real fast and he just you can just destroy the whole early game push destroy towers gank and just secure you the win uh it has a pretty big uh skill uh requirement though i personally can play him at that level i never tried uh this hero was ever since dota one days way way back uh i i have to say i never liked him i never played him i never liked him i never wanted to learn him uh it was fun for me learning arc uh varden and some other heroes uh meepo was just even techies i even enjoyed to some degree uh, learning techies the old techies and the new one is whatever uh meepo though i i just never wanted to learn meepo but yeah let, let's uh let's have a more time so boots into power threads of course uh orange or into travel however you want to go it's not a big of a deal uh the the one item that you'll be getting right away small one is a dragon lance uh i know there's no benefit from attack range it's a range only but it's just to buff your clones it gives 16 agility and 12 strength to all of your clones clones can only carry boots right <clears throat> but any stats any general stats they inherit that as well from you so it's pretty it's pretty easy to imagine the build right you get this for stats this for stats and slow and then some uh, nice utility to go with the spell so you can get one dragon lance uh, i kept this in the bag in the backpack because some people play two dragon lances early it's a really big buff uh, to your clones and lets lets them survive much longer and fight much longer they'll deal more damage right uh like it doubles that I, I know it looks really weird but you can also play them like that uh second item uh probably when i get the blink uh the whole thing is uh not really being uh it's kind of annoying you try to chase anybody and just casting guard bites right it's not a huge cast range it takes time for the net to get there you need to get to the targets so you can uh poof your clones uh, on you and to deal damage blink just gives you immediate uh like target closure binding them and, uh, and just like buffing these uh on your main one right they're there they did the buff them puff poof damage they can attack uh refresh the earth bind you can cast three earth binds at this point of course it becomes more later on so that's pretty much it uh kind of how the meeple works uh after those there's ethereal blade ethereal blade is made uh, so you can do extra damage with poof you blink on somebody right like i did there you just blink uh you ethereal blade them while they're tra trapped in the whole effect uh you benefit you, you you just go for that extra spell damage right and uh there's gonna be like four clones uh poofing after you so you dealt damage with the effect alone with the hit and then the after effects increase spell damage you pull four of your clones on you and it just it just destroys the target right anybody who's there uh yeah, poof, is, poof is the oe so that's kind of, that, that's kind of the whole thing with me for catching uh, catching people with blink earth binding them poofing the clones to yourself with some effect while keeping the clones alive uh your clones don't get scuddy effect of course they still get the attributes right so you need to you need to keep buffing your clones along the way you can't be just uh playing with stuff like this alone uh this do not give anything to for your clones right this is just five agility five strength and this is only 10 strength and 10 agility that is not enough uh, your clones will get wrecked real real fast 
so yeah that's pretty much it uh sight of vice uh same same thing as ethereal blade you just kind of keep them uh trapped for that extra duration right play king hex them uh, they're hexed you do all the poof thing your clones are there hitting them they, they can slowly get out of hex uh let's say you have sky you, you're also slowing them down you're getting extra damage with ransack and healing you just keep casting guard binds until they die right they, they can't do anything about it really unless they got black ink uh, even then you just kind of switch to some other targets uh ignore that one uh but yeah hex is just another tool uh kind of like for tinker keep them disabled but you just completely nuke them with other spells uh i, I know it looks kind of weird for like an agility to be making like stuff stuff like this i guess but it, it, it's kind of like when you make hex for shadow fiend and when you play like the magic one it can work right for for me it works especially well it gives you that extra time where like i said the earth bind needs to fly uh, when you release it there's a cast time that is flying has to land hex is immediate uh immediate uh, effect you immediately hex the target as soon as you target them they're hexed and then you have a much more time to do your earth binds and poofs uh and yeah that's pretty much it you just stack some stats uh and then you get some utility to keep them occupied increase your spell damage or poof uh i also kept uh heart there so you can swap this with heart uh heart gives 45 strength to everybody you get a, you only get the health and the max health regen i believe uh, about the health regeneration not sure but uh, you get the health but they get the 45 strength for sure so it's a huge buff you can just get hard buff your clones a lot uh there's also one item that you can get i just i kind of forgot uh there's pipe pipe kind of makes sense right uh it's not stats uh, but i'm having that nice uh like inside aura it's like a passive 12 percent and then also like normal 30 percent and then you can use the uh 400 uh spell protection buff right on all of the clones you might get it you might skip it uh it depends really i hey it's it, it's just a it's just an optional item if you need it you can make it you'll be having five clones all of them will benefit from it why not right if you're gonna blink in there uh maybe there's some nasty aoe spell damage you, you can just pop pipe and really really just not care right and you can slowly extract each one of them as they're taking damage swap in the new ones uh with boots of travel you can uh teleport to base heal back up move back on the clone that's with full health farming somewhere or moving on the map so yeah you're never like forced to do anything like uh like on the ground movement you're just kind of flying across the map right uh, and also farming all the time but yeah there's a lot of uh apm and stuff a lot of skill uh like i said i never really re learned to the full aspect i can play meeple but i'm not i'm not a meeple player like, like they can play it i'm not gonna be a crazy meeple me that wins the game i'm not gonna be that i'm just not on that level uh i know what i need to do but i, I just never i just never really went into it right practice the whole speed and clicking and stuff uh, but yeah that's pretty much meeple there's not really to say anymore get some stats get some utility get your blink uh if you want to get pipe uh that, that, that that's pretty much it let's get the uh, talents quickly talent uh poof damage of course poof damage goes on all of your clones uh second uh, second one is interesting uh so earth by granting uh true strike that can be pretty pretty crazy value uh if there's a phantom assassin at the beginning you know she's gonna have about 85 percent miss with the talent completely remove that uh anybody that's prone to making butterfly uh or you or you just see them making butterfly uh also great uh value yeah anything like that but you can also be completely useless if nobody really went for that they just then you just kind of wasted the talent point but we can't really know right uh so yeah kind of decide on that one uh 20 health steal or earth by cooldown earth by cooldown goes to five seconds so i would say uh definitely get the earth by cooldown uh it's not only you it's five seconds for all of the clones so 
being able to cast the net every five seconds five times yeah, you can imagine what you, what you can do with that so yeah i i, I kind of go more toward uh, earthbind although it might be completely unneeded because you're gonna destroy everybody before you reload anyways just imagine five clones attacking a target with this ethereal poofing uh target's probably gonna be long dead again again it's an optional i would say uh yeah it also it also depends uh last one you of course you take the extra clone uh that, that's pretty much it you just take the extra clone the extra clone that can do everything uh why not right just, just, just take the extra clone it's it's the logical thing to do you're going with the whole team uh shard is also pretty uh shard is also pretty crazy uh kind of kind of man, leave him alone kind of a newer effect so with the shard if there's a meepo next to you it kind of throws you on the target so this can go this can go this one can't go because there's nobody to throw him but uh, if you have five clones four of them will be flying right so that that's a huge value it's also instant cast uh right instant cast with all of them there's no delay they're flying towards it hit pretty 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 strong uh yeah also gives oh, yeah, uh, that's the normal effect that yeah, slows moments with a 50 percent yeah so there you go you can also invest into the shard on top of everything so stats utility shard is pretty amazing pipe if you need some extra spell protection maybe yeah that, that's that's uh pretty much maple you just have to practice him a lot uh people that know how to play them already it's almost like with all of them like, like i say all of them abuse their mid heroes in that way like with arc with broodmother uh even invoker if they if they can play them they play them like gods or they just completely suck at the hero like there's no middle ground usually uh, if you see me put your team he's either gonna win you the game or lose you the game he's not just gonna be something in between they're probably gonna destroy everybody or just feel like crazy and be lost and be like hey guys i just wanted to practice some uh, uh some new heroes right uh, so yeah that's pretty much it and uh i'll see you guys the, guys on the next one